Good morning children. I am Shefali Kanidhi and I am here with the one more session for the Eco Club members. And the member uh, that the topic that I have taken is say no to plastic. Children, already in the last session you have been introduced with three formula and that is three R's. And what are the three R's? That three R's. You know very well. What are the three R's? The three R's are reduce, reuse and recycling. So when we are going to follow these three formulas, definitely we are going to control the plastic pollution. So that how much dangerous today I am going to say that how the plastic is very very dangerous for all of us. One of the scientists, engineer and a very famous uh, professor of India named Sir P. S. Jagdish Kumar. He has also said and compared plastic pollution to a nuclear bomb. He said plastic is the most destructive weapon than a nuclear bomb or an atom bomb. Its impacts have remained for centuries on the future generation. So children, why the centuries for long centuries? Do you know? Because the reason is very very simple and you we all know. What is that? That it is non-biodegradable uh, chemicals. And definitely that non-biodegradable means it is not going to decay easily in the environment. What is happening children? Just try to recall and try to understand in the practically what we are doing. We are buying the things, we are carrying and we are using simple the use, one use of the plastics that we are taking the poly bag. Sometimes we in place of taking the fresh juice, we are taking the concentrated juice and also when we are going for picnicking, in place of taking the uh, metal glass, we are using disposable glass, we are using again so many things like the coffee cups and the disposable glasses. So these, when we are disposing it, these are not going to degrade. Why? Because they are photodegradable. They are going to decay into pieces and sometimes if you are throwing in the open space, do you know children what happens? Lot of problems are coming from that thing. One of the important the thing that it is, the plastic is going in the drainage system or the sewage system and blocking the pipe. Definitely it is creating a very very alarming situation. And why it is alarming? Can you think? Very simple. Mosquitoes are going to breed in those logged water and mosquitoes causes a mosquitoes cause a lot of disease like malaria, dengue and many others. Secondly, what happens that you have seen the people are collecting the garbages and the plastics and all and they are trying to burn it. Then air pollution is created and now then a main type of lungs disease related to lungs diseases people are going to suffer from that. And sometimes after long years you can say that the due to photodegradation that physical change is going to happen and this plastic is going to be broken into small small pieces. So the, by the sewers or the rivers and the, uh, the other water bodies it is going to the sea or the ocean and creating problem to the life of the marine world also. Many fishes are eating and indirectly what is happening? Indirectly we people also those who are fond of eating seafood, we are taking plastic in our bodies and this is creating indigestion problem. So children, when this, all these type of problems we are facing already, so what we are supposed to do? No one come here to save us. So we are going to be the savior of the world. And you know, one of the famous environmental activists name is, it's a Chinese one, and name is Chai Zing. Uh, he said, 
the strongest governments on the earth cannot clean up pollution by themselves they must rely on each ordinary person like you and me on our choices and on our will so children definitely no one will come to save us we are the savior of our earth we are the savior of our environment so now you can ask me that ma'am what we can do we are so small we are so tiny what we can do simple things you have to reduce the uses of plastic and how you can reduce children simply when you are going to the market you carry your own bag and what that is cloth bag or jute bag you can take paper bag but paper bag is also not a solution why because you know paper is produced with the wood pulp and definitely when the wood pulp we are going you are in need of that as a raw materials you are going to cut more and more trees so it is again creating problem in the environment so in place of paper bag prefer to use cloth bag or the jute bag now one thing more children that when you are going to market think thrice three questions you just keep it in your mind first of all is it very necessary like sometimes you are going to the market and you say you are taking kurkure packets chips packets and uh, uh, chocolates so all these are not so necessary for your health also you know very well but you are eating and all these things are wrapped in what in plastic so children unnecessarily we are using all these things and encouraging the plastic industries so children we have to think that is it necessary that we are going to buy second thing that we should buy those those things which we can reuse okay like when we we will use reusing it we are going to save some uh, plastic production it will be uh, decreasing definitely and now the third thing that how the we have to take those things which are able to recycle also and now so reduce reuse and recycle these three formulas always we have to keep in our, our, our minds and we have to use work judiciously so children i hope that you are going to use these three formulas and you are going to save the environment save the world and we are going to live happily in this world and going to save the future generation thank you children